on my way to work, five in the morning, dark country road, driving along, and uh, there's a, a guy standing in dark clothes in my lane of the road. It wasn't until I was right upon him, until I saw him, I swerved at the last minute and was able to miss him. Kind of had me shook up a little bit, but you know, by the time I got to work, how close it actually was to me possibly killing a man. I get to work, I, we had our morning huddle for the day, and uh, I brought the topic up about what had happened on the way in. When I do get in a hurry, that it will pop in my mind, and it'll, and I'll just, I tell myself, just slow down, you know, just slow down. Now that it, uh, there's defined activities with the close call process, they're getting reported more frequently than they might have in the past. We were changing the feed plate out in our VSI crusher. The feed plate is probably a couple hundred pounds, round object, and it's uh, not easy to get in and out. So as we were putting it back in, the guy who was lifting it out lost his footing and it fell on his foot. I'm actually in the process of making a lifting device for it. I'm hoping that that will help the problem. I think it gives everybody a little bit of skin in the game. Some guy on the other side of the country that does the same thing we do day to day and reads that instant and he might learn something from it and do it differently. It helps us all be more proactive on safety, you know, at work and at home. I thought it was gonna be a pain in the butt, but it definitely has changed the way we think and act. Thank you to, to the team members that participated in this, took time out of their busy schedule to really think about the safety of all employees when it comes to close calls and allowing them a, a safe space to report close calls.